Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring a home screen by the very popular JK Design with his new screen, Blue Skies, that is doing very well on the My Color Screen trending page. Why is it doing so well? Well, that's quite easy to see. Starting off with its very blue and white sleek design, it's coupled with all the important icons that you need all in one screen. Starting at the top, it's got the ability to quickly jump to your application page as well as your settings. Below that, it's got your time, your weather, your date, your missed calls, your text messages, and even a Google search bar. How cool is that? And then beneath that, you got all your other information such as your jump to shortcuts in order to get to say your videos, your phone. And next to that, it's got your news widget, your calendar widget, and finally your music widget all in one. So what else do you need besides an awesome video tutorial that's gonna be coming up right now? Let us begin. Great, so starting from a stock stock SS launcher, I've just basically reset everything. We wanna get rid of everything that we see before us here. So we're gonna get rid of the widgets. It's quite easy to do, just drag them into the bin like that. Great, once that's done, we're gonna push our back button in order to get to our preferences over here. Gonna select our preferences and we wanna select full screen. We don't wanna have this navigation bar at the top, but don't worry, you can still slide down to get it back. From here we'll go back and then back again into our theme. From our theme we're going to go into our label which is that little thing at the top that said home applications hot etc. Now we want to get rid of that so once we're in the label style we want to select hide labels. Unfortunately this is for the pro version but don't worry the pro version is amazing so I highly recommend it. You want to hide the labels and go apply changes. Let's go back again and as you can see everything has disappeared on your screen except for the wallpaper. So that's where we're going to be heading to next, the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper we're going to be holding down on the home screen, selecting wallpaper and then going into our gallery. From here we're going to select the wallpaper that you have copied onto your phone. I've made a custom one just for the Nexus 4, so if you've got a Nexus 4 I recommend using this one. It works quite well. So from here we're just going to go OK and there we have our wallpaper set up like that. Great, so once your wallpaper has been set up we're going to be moving on to the widgets. Great, so starting off with UCCW widget, we're going to be adding in all of them. There's quite a few, so get ready. We're going to be holding down, selecting new widget, and now SS Launch is a bit finicky about the sizes that you choose, so you're going to go for the ones that more or less look about the same size. So we're going to be using that top bar that's got the three icons. We're going to be, let's say, use a 4x1, and then select open your zip. Now we're going to be selecting blue sky 2. Remember, you have to copy all these use zips onto your phone. I just normally just copy that whole entire Blue Skies folder onto the phone and these will all be there. So selecting Blue Sky 2, I've already imported it, so I'll just go yes. So from here you just want to push the back button, just get rid of those little adjustable bars and you just want to select the hand. Now you just want to resize it so that it fits nicely in that grey bar there. So if you hold down on it, select it again, this will allow for complete resizing ability, I guess. And that's pretty much it. Now we can hold down, get more precise. Remember you've got your joystick, can't really see it, but it is here, which allows for that complete fine tuning. Great, so there is our first widget set up. We're gonna be adding in all each one of the UCCW skins now, just so we can get them out of the way. For the clock, I recommend going for a four by four. You go open your zip, that is Blue Sky 1. Great, now once you've got it to the way you wanted it, remember to hold down on it and then say to back, this will allow you to get gain access to all the ones at the top as well. Remember, you're going to have to be doing this for if you're using Nova Launcher, or Nova Launcher, or Apex Launcher as well. As without those, you won't be able to get to it. The final UCCWs are all the icons on the side over here. I'm going to be, I'm only going to be adding in those later, just as a pretty much exactly the same as this, except you can get them along the side here. And what's nice about SS Launcher is that they showed you exactly when they lined up. So I'll be adding in those later. Great. So once all your UCCW skins have been set up. We're going to be moving on to the semi folder, which shows off your little friends as well as your in touch contacts as well. So, if we want to hold down on the home screen, we want to select new widget. The semi folder is great. I highly recommend it. From here, we're going to select a one by one. Now, I've already see I've, that's the one I've already created, just called contacts. So, if you don't have that, you want to go settings, add folder, call it whatever you want. I've called it contacts. Next, you want to say the contacts folder, you want to call that 
or make it only contacts only. For your widget settings, you want to select, go into it. Your icon, you want to select your icon, go gallery and select the blank PNG that has been provided below. Once you've done that, you want to go into widget layout and you want to select the widget that has just the icon and no background, which is pretty much that one or yeah, that one over there. From there, you're going to go back, you're going to go back again, but always remember to go OK, otherwise it won't save. Next, we're going to launch the settings. You want to disable show folder name, show title. We do not need those. Icon size, you want it to be a bit larger than normal. Once you change the icon size, you want to go into your launcher style. And then these are quite important. Your background color, you want to make red 32, green 175 and blue 219. And then your alpha, you want to jam it all the way. From there, you want to go OK. And you want to do that same for the frame color, the arrow color. Well, in text color, you just want that to be white. Great, and once that's done, we're going to go OK. And that is our launcher settings done. Just want to go save it now. And if you want to add, once you've created the folder, you'll have, you should have no items here. So you want to add in each one of the contacts that you would want. It looks really cool if they have their pictures already set up for them. And once it's done, you just want to go back again. You into the, so you're into the main page and you want to select the contacts and that will have it there. So you just want to make it resize it now. So it only takes up that friends tab over there like that. That's what's great about SS Launcher. You can make those any size you want. With Apex or Nova Launcher, you might just have to resize that one by one widget or get it into the right place by changing your grid sizes accordingly. So just double checking that works. It's gonna tap it. Yep, that looks pretty good. Let's move it down a little. Yep, and that looks pretty cool. So once that's done, that semi folder complete. Let's move on to our simple calendar over here as well as your news widget over here. Great, so for the news widget, you want to hold down and select new widget, new widget, yeah, new widget. And I'm going to go a bit quickly on this because it's quite a, it's quite simple to add. You just want to select simple RSS widget. So from here, we want to just say add RSS feed and then just add any of one of your RSS feeds that you have used to select add. Great, next your news text, you want to make it a nice grayish color. So we'll just change our value to pretty much halfway. That looks good. Your background, you want to make it completely transparent. So you slide the alpha all the way. Your icon transparency, you want to make that clear as you don't want to see those icons on the side there. But don't worry, they'll still be there. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to go save now. That is your RSS widget setup. It just takes some time to get those RSS feeds in. Next, you're going to be adding in your simple calendar widget, which is a great app now owned by my color screen. So you might want to go check it out and see why. You can choose any size. Let's go for a medium. It's quite big, so we can just resize it a bit now. Just need to resize it a bit here and select the side to open up the options. Going to be changing a few quick things here if we go into appearance and skin tweaks our line color we just want to make it a nice grayish color we're going to go okay go back again font options now you want to make all of these a grayish color as well as day of the month you want to well for the nexus 4 i just had to reduce the size a bit and of course change it to a gray so just go remember to go apply for each one of these great once you have all of them done we're just going to go back now go into background color and make that fully transparent and go OK. And that's pretty much it. You can fine tweak it if you want. We're just going to go back now and select the tick button. Great. And there we have our simple calendar set up. This is the main reason why I chose SS Launcher just mainly for this widget as the Nexus 4 wallpaper kind of struggles with this being a little bit squished like that and the grid sizes do not agree so well. Finally, you want to add in widget soid at the bottom. You're just going to go new widget again. Widget soid, or you want to get the switcher three by one. And you want to go add new toggle, select the options, option, select the options, go into sound. That just makes it a lot easier to find these. And you want to go previous, play pause, next, just like that. Quite easy to do. Remember, you went add toggle to do that. Next, you want to go into theme. You want to just pretty much untick, hide the, hide the icons like that so you don't have to see them. Choose background, you want to make it none. And then finally, your indicate, indicator type, you want to, instead of going thin, you want to go none. So in pretty much everything should disappear now and go apply. Sorry if I'm going a bit quick, but there are a lot of widgets in this and I don't want to bore you guys. So we're just going to be resizing this a lot just to make it fit like that. So remember, it doesn't really matter what size it is. As long as the middle is pretty much in the middle of the play button right there. So just to double check. Yeah, it works. So now the last thing to note for the SS launcher is that the author has been kind enough to provide you with 
the hotspots already turned on but unfortunately selecting this one over here remember you have to have your hotspots mode off if you go select object hotspots you'll see that'll open up your app draw but that is for your nova or apex launcher not too good if you got ss launcher so a quick little tip if we just go back now if you have to hold down on the home screen say over here and go new shortcuts you want to say select type and go into page and then target you want it to be applications and go okay from here if we go into our style under look and you just want to select the one just below you just want to select the one that just got an icon no background because now all you have to do here is if you go into your icon from here and you select icon and you go add an image you just need to add in your blank png right there and from here we're just going to select blank png to select apply settings and then say apply settings again doesn't really matter if you can see applications at the top there as we're just going to be putting this up right about there you can resize it a bit you can obviously resize it a lot if you like but i'm just going to leave it there for now let's go back so now when you select this it comes up quick to your application page looking pretty cool great and then we have our home screen complete as you can see i just finally added in the uccw skins here they take about a few minutes just to add in as there's a little bit of rearranging to do but once it is there we have it there we have our home screen complete as well as our video tutorial complete thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen youtube channel as well as check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing